have every okay so welcome in I'm working on my Mother's Day cards and as I promised you hi Kathy hi Renee oh I gotta <laughs> let me turn off the volume on my computer <laughs> that was annoying I'm so sorry oh you are I'm making a card you make dinner and I'll make a card I'm better at making cards than dinner, so it's probably a good place for me to be right now. Um, what are we having for dinner? <laughs> so what I'm going to do, this is the card I made yesterday um, for my mother-in-law for Mother's Day. Um, I'm sorry, I'm reading what Kathy was writing. Put on uh, ill watch on. Yes, you can watch it later. You can finish it later. Um, so this is the card that I made yesterday. I'm really happy with it. Turned out very pretty. Um, and so today, this is for my mother-in-law. So shh, I have to step it up for my mom. So let's not tell my mother-in-law, but she should be pretty happy with this. She's not much of a keeper of things. So I don't, my mom, on the other hand, will put it up on her, um, on her, she has like this window with a shelf that's about a uh, foot deep. And um, <laughs> I'm an air traffic controller. Um, and she's going to put it up there and it'll be up there for as long as it can be up there. So um, it'll probably fade from the sunlight with any luck. So anyway, I did a bunch of planning and cutting because I told you yesterday it's... um it would take me a little bit more to um, to be able to put moms together. So let me see, I'll put this here so you can kind of watch my inspiration. And I have everything, well, I have most everything cut out and every, I'm sure I'll come up with things as I go along. But what I decided to do, I was like, how can I make this pop up? Because popping up cards is what I love to do. I love dimension. And so what I came up with is this kind of a pop-up card. Um, and what it's going to be, this is the main, oh, what have, what, 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 what we say? It's the guts. Here's the guts of the card. Um, I'm also going to put a cover that will double as an easel on the other side. So it'll cover it up until they open it, and then they'll be able to turn it into an easel. So um, I may do that off camera, but I'm not sure. We'll see how much time this takes. Anyway, um, so I've got, let me think. Um, I've got, I will put the measurements in the description. Oh, so I'm in, I got that kit right here, but I haven't opened it. Oh, watching on an iPad. So, okay, so I've done it. I've done as much as I can to kind of plan it out and get ready. So bear with me if I like hesitate at some point. Um, to start with, I'm I'm using products from the greetery, and I just remembered I forgot to die cut my. I have to die cut a piece of acetate. Maybe I don't have to. Anyway, so I'm working with um, these uh, terrarium, this terrarium die. Say that 10 times fast. From the, the greetery. Let me see if I can find it. Um, well, it looks like that, except it's not. It's silver. And it's two pieces. It's the inside piece and the outside piece. So that, like, for this card, for example... I was able to cut a card base out of it. So um, that was really nice to be able to do that. It makes me nervous that I can't find it. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's these two dies right here. Okay, so I've cut, I've cut a bunch of them. I've cut two, I wanted to make a two-sided terrarium. Toelium, I keep wanting to say toelium. Anyway, that's, I think that's how I said it when I was a kid. And so I want the front side to be stronger than the, and the back's just going to sit. Here's my back side. 
and it's just going to sit here on the, I'm going to just secure it on the back. But this piece right here is going to be kind of standing up. So I wanted to be, I wanted it to be tougher, um, able to take more abuse and stand up straight. Um, so I've made two white um, die cuts to be able to add support for this piece right here. So I'll start by adhering these together and I'm just gonna use my tape runner. You could use any kind of, you could use liquid adhesive, you could use um, tape, score tape or what have you, but I'm gonna just use my handy dandy tape runner. I like my tape runner. Um, that way, if I get it off, I can, if it's the not lined up properly, I can just pull it apart and redo it. Okay, so now we have those two pieces and a lot more sturdy. I wanted, I was thinking about it, and I'm like, oh, but there's going to be a white edge, right? Because I'm going to put this on top, and if you look, there's a white edge all the way around. So then I decided to take my marker. This is a T3. Um, Copic marker and I'm just gonna I'm gonna color all the edges so this will take me a few minutes so this is gonna be um, oh I guess I don't have to do that part uh, there's my test area and so then if you look at it now um, they're gonna stuck to see if you look at it now it's it's not as noticeable as that so it just dulls it down just a bit so it blends in together so we'll do that and go around the top Oh, sure. Um, sure. Let me zoom in just a little bit. I'm going to have to um, forgive. I'm going to, it's a little, um, let me try this. That was a little much. How's that? While I'm doing this, this is, okay, I can do that. Forgive me if I forget to, um, I gotta have to look up every now and again to make sure that I'm still in frame. Uh, so we're just, we're just coloring out little edges to make sure that they blend in with the silver paper. In fact, now that I think of it, this is gonna be an interesting thing. Let's see, I may want a die cut another one to put on the back because well you know what we'll just color it because nobody's really going to see the back so I'll just color it with this marker again just to kind of oh I did it there you go out of frame <laughs> sorry okay Are you working on your cards right now, Renee? Let's see here. So pretty. I love this terrarium die. There's also a smaller one. I may have to get that too. Uh, let's see here. Let's 
Where are you, Renee? What part of the... Are you in America? Or are you in a different country? There. Okay. So that's that part. And then I'm going to just... On the back, fill it in real quick. Sometimes I don't think I use my, I think I don't use my markers enough. So when I get an opportunity, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I can use my markers. Another way you could do this, if you don't have silver paper, you could just die cut this in white paper and then put a um, sparkle pen of some kind on it. And that would be the same thing. It'd be really pretty too. Might even be prettier, it might be really shiny. I also thought of doing it. Um, there's uh, Tim Holtz has some mirror paper, or it's not mirror paper, it's um, it's actual mirror, it's like plastic mirror that you can die cut. And I was like, that'd be kind of cool if you put that behind it too. But if you're going to put a mirror behind it, you want to do your coloring so it doesn't show up. there so it's just a little bit more color um so it's not the bright white if somebody happens to see the other side um so that's kind of fun and i didn't have to use another piece of uh paper gold or silver paper that's nice i think that's enough does that make sense I could do this all day. Okay, so that's that. Now, when we attach, let's put some more tape on the front. Little bits everywhere. Hmm. Now, when we attach this, it should be um, kind of seamless. The look. Let's see if we have to touch it up a bit. Okay, so then we will take this little guy and we will um, put it there. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Or it's a diamond. It's a diamond ring with a really, for a very small finger. <laughs> That's what I think it's like. I wonder, I might do it like that. I might do that. I've got a whole, um, like I could do a pink diamond. I've got a whole My Favorite thing stamp set that's all about pink and diamonds. So that'd be funny. So yeah, so it just, um, it doesn't scream out at you that it has a, the, the layered pieces aren't uh, silver. And it's much more sturdy. It'll stand up. So that's nice. It'll have something to stand on, but it won't. The other way, it was just, it wasn't as sturdy. Oh yeah, we all copy each other's stuff. That's what we do. Um, although I have to say, part of my motto is dare to be different. So I'm always trying to come up with something different. But then my thing is being able to make things that are three-dimensional. I love that people can display it. Um, so that's pretty cool for me. Sorry, cleaning up my adhesive. Okay. So now, let's hope that this works. Next. So we have our little um, piece started and ready to go. Then, let's see, I have, trying to think the order I'm gonna do this. Okay, so what I did is this piece right here is <laughs> two and three eighths 
from here to here, the, or well, you know what I'm going to tell you. It's, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's eight and a quarter inches long, and it's scored at two and three eighths inches from, um, to create the bottom. And the reason I did that, I could have had the whole piece, but I just didn't want it to be taking up that much real estate. Um, I didn't, I wanted it to be about the terrarium, not about the front of the card. Um, so that's why I did it this way. So what I've also done is I want, I would like to make a pop-up element that's a half an inch. And so to do that, it's going to be a half an inch out and a half an inch tall. Because that's just easier. I guess I could make it taller, um, but I don't really need to, I don't think. So I'm going to just do it this way. So I've marked off a half an inch with a pencil. Don't need to erase it later because I'll just be put using the other side. And then all I do is I get my scissors and I am going to make a couple of little marks like so and I am going to flip it out and then basically push this little piece out at the score line and then are we <laughs> sorry push this little piece out at the score line and then push it down and ta-da, we have our pop-up element. Very simple, very easy, not a big deal. Now, if I wanted to make it taller, which again, I don't really wanna do that, but the way you would do it is you would just cut this side. You cut up this side more and you would change where your, um, you would put your crease for the center part at a half an inch from the top. That's the way you would do it. So now that we have that set up, we can, let's, let's start with, um, we're going to do our wallpapering. I have this piece of, ugh, sorry, the cord in the way, just a minute. I don't know, oh, sorry. Okay. I don't know if you see this, but it's, um, speckled paper and it's from Lawn Fawn. Uh, if they came out with it, what's it called? Spiffy Speckles, that's what it is. Yes, they're like, it's like, um, it's not dots, they're more like paint splatters, which this is amazing paper for me because I'm not a fan of messy and you know, paint splatters just aren't something I typically would do. And so this has um, paint splatter in these different colors um, with the, the paint splatter on white or on blue or purple or whatever other color. So tone on tone and then on white. And so I took the green one because I thought greenhouse theme, why not? And I cut this down so that it will fit exactly over this part right here. But what I've got to do is I need to make a little, I've got to, make a little cut um, and I'm just going to cut it like this and I'm going to cut it like this and then uh, fold it up and then this will be able to um, fit over the little um, the little pop-up element. Does that make sense? So I'm going to do that. I've got to cut it a little bit more so it fits right. I'm not too worried about this part because we're not going to see it. It's going to be hidden. Um, so that's kind of why I'm doing it this way. Otherwise, if it, was, if it wasn't going to be hidden, I'd be more precise and everything. But we're not going to be able to see it. So I just wanted to make sure it was at least in the middle. So now that that's cut, I can put some adhesive on the back and uh, attach it to my card. Let's see here. Okay, so I'm gonna attach this to the card. I'm gonna start at the bottom because I wanna make sure that it's attached correctly. It's 
Oh, I didn't get the measurement for you. Um, I'll do that in just a second here. As I said, I will have all the... If you go want to watch this back to make it... Um, yeah, there we go. And then this part will go on here. Okay. So then we have our little cover there. Eh, sorry about the... I find a lot of frame. Okay, so now I got the little speckled background for the background. I just thought that looked really nice with the um, with the terrarium. Okay, so now we're just going to do the same thing with this bottom piece. Um, I'm going to actually this time I'm actually going to do it a little different. Why not do two different ways? Show you different ways of doing this. You can really do it any way that you want. I found this wood paper out of a paper pack I had from last year. I think it's called Spring Market from, um, now see this is where one side's a little off. It's not as straight. Um, so I'm butting it right up next to this other speckled paper so they line up. Okay, and then for this one, I'm going to go through the, the back, okay, and then I'm going to, okay, you can go through here again, okay. Can do this oh I can okay okay so now that's covered and then we can train it back over and we have our card base all ready to go there's a little bit of white showing here I'll just get some um, brown marker in a minute and put a little line a very light brown so that it lines up or it gets covered up. It's not as noticeable. So now, if you have, have you ever made one of these cards before, Renee? Um, so now you take this part and we want to attach it inside the card. But I've got to do that. <laughs> I've got to cover up that little piece of brown. Um, oops. See, it's not as notice noticeable then. And we'll do, we might as well do the other sides too while we're at it. I always love doing this to give it a, just a finishing, look, finished look. If I have the opportunity, why not, right? Even though we're not even gonna see this. <laughs> Anyway, so we got that. So now, um, very simply, we're gonna line this up. We're gonna line it up here. And we're gonna put some adhesive here. And I'm like I'm looking at these three sides here and making sure that it lines up. Then I'm just folding this over and hopefully it'll be close. Yes. So now we have it and it's got the same right about the same border all the way around. I need a little adjustment, but again, that's part of the reason I use the tape that I use. See, I can completely pull it up. Let's do this once more. We were just a little bit off. I always like being able to 
have a second chance if you need it. Okay. Let's see. Hopefully that's yeah, good enough for government work. Okay. So now um, the, it's got the three sides covered, and now I'm going to put the tape on the top part. And notice how I don't put it here, but you can't put it there anyway. So okay. So I'll make sure to do this. this piece down and we'll get our bone folder Are arguing. That's funny. Oh. Okay, so now we have our little scene, and that's actually pretty good. It stands up real nice. That'll help a lot. So, next step. I have the back of my terrarium, so we can do it like that. And then I wanted to put some sides, and I just, I felt like it didn't need to have sides all along the side, but I wanted it at the bottom because I figured there might be dirt in the bottom, so why not put little little side pieces so that when you're looking at it from the side, it'll um, hide those, it'll um, not hide, what's the word I'm trying to think of? It will, I guess hide, camouflage. <laughs> I guess that's hide. <laughs> I just couldn't think of the right word. Oh my goodness, that was funny, sorry. Maybe it wasn't so funny. <laughs> oh, I guess maybe it wasn't so funny. I was thinking, can I hear you guys laugh? No, I can't. I wish it, it would be so much, it would be so cool if we could talk to each other. Uh, there we go. Okay. So let me explain how I made these little signs. I measured from here to here on the side of the terrarium. That's an inch and a half. Then I decide I have a half an inch that I wanted to open up. So this is a half an inch in the center. So then I added, okay, so I needed a half an inch in the center and then I needed a space on the either side to put some adhesives. And this is about an eighth of an inch thick. So each of these is an eighth of an inch. So in all, it's three quarters of an inch wide by an inch and a half long. And I scored it at one eighth inch one quarter inch and three eighths of an inch so that I can fold it. I needed it to accordion because, and I'll show you why, I put some score tape, I have this little skinny score tape and I put that on the, um, I put that on the silver side because I wanted to fold it and I'm going to line it up with this edge. Like so, the I the folded side I'm lo lining up with this edge, and I uh, let's see here. Okay, so that's the first side. Okay, then let's do the other one. Now, as you can see, it'll it'll be able to fold, but then when it pops up, it'll open. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's it's kind of like a stand. That would be funny. Let's put it together before we put it on the card and see if it does make it stand up. So now I'm taking the other side off and I'm going to attach it to this side again like so, and then if you press the pieces together, and then you've got the little, see how it creates that 
that little bit of a depth. That's the word I'm trying. Oh, except I did it the wrong way. Arr, just a minute. Oh no. I'm sorry. I'm doing surgery. Okay. The tape fell, went off on here. Um, that's okay. So now I'm going to put more tape on. Good that I'm handing it, handling it, or that I have it right here. I'm going to put some more tape on. I meant to adhere it to the silver side because we want the silver side so we can see it. So then it's going to look like it's sitting on a table against a wall or some such thing. Okay, so this is what we want to do. That's better. So we're going to line it up. Does that make sense? There we go. That's what I'm that's what I meant. <laughs> so yeah, so then I guess it kind of does make it stand up a bit. Well, let's do the other side. So we're just going to repeat that on the same on the other side. Welcome, uh, newcomers. Um, if you'd like to introduce yourself, that'd be great. I'm Joanne. I'm with Perky Penny Papers. And it's my own little company. I started in January of 2013 when I became addicted to card making. And after I raised my kids, it's like I was like, this is all I want to do. Um, and so that's... The, that's how my story started. And since then, I've been teaching classes. I actually used to own a shop. Um, unfortunately, I don't own a shop anymore. Um, but I do, um, I have done pop-up shops and things like that. And right now, I've just decided that my real love is teaching. And um, helping people create art. So that's kind of what I'm focusing on now. Okay, so now I'm just going to attach this other side here. Ah, you know what I got to do? I got to push it down and then attach it. Sorry, I used the score tape and the score tape is very um, sticky. So we have to make sure that we're doing it right. And my little piece was not as thick as it should be. I think this is less than an eighth of an inch. There we go. Okay, so now I have a little stand-up terrarium. Isn't that cute? I love it. It's so adorable. Okay, now we've got some dimension going on. That's what I'm talking about. So now what I need to do is I need to fit this onto here and then we can start decorating it. Let me move a few things here. I'm getting a little crowded with all my junk. Okay. So I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm just push it everywhere. Ah, oh, it's funny though. It's hard to work, or well, it's not hard to work with. Okay. Yeah. And really, I can cut off as much of this as I want to because I just want to. I now I can fit it in there. Um, do you see how it fits in there? And then theoretically, I don't. Uh, let's see here. Well, let's, let's get it done first. I'm getting ahead of myself. That's typical. <laughs> okay. So here I want to like measure to see where I should cut it off. Can you see what I'm doing? I hope you can. I'm just going in underneath and I'm just snipping a little bit off of the bottom. And then I never planned on this, but these two pieces just kind of fit in there. And I... Hope that all makes sense. And then now the next step is I need to attach 
this onto the back. So let me just put that aside for a second and oh, put some tape. Um, when everything's secured down, I am going to have to get my uh, embossing tool and put some powder on to deactivate some of the sticky. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so now what we can do I'll deactivate some of the sticky is on on here, but I can deactivate that one we've got to put together. That's the beauty of working with the dotted tape. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put this in here. And I'm going to position it towards the bottom and the back. And line it. I need to line it up so it's... What I need to do is I need to push it down so that it's lined up. Maybe it's good that it's sort of sticking together right now. Actually. Okay. So I'm just pushing it down. Does that make sense, everybody? Okay, now I'll lift up my oh no, push this one down, and then we will pull up on this one. Okay, and then it should. Let's see if this works. <laughs> Best laid plans, right? Now we're going to see if this works. This, we have to fold it down. I think I'm going to have to... Hmm. See, engineering these is a feat in and of itself. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> Somebody's home. I'm live. I'm live. Okay, sorry. Anyway, so I'm like, get out of here. So I don't know. This is not working. Let me think. Now I have to think. Um, there's something in the way. So I'm just trying to figure out. Everything is. It's kind of working. The side works. You, you see the side and all of that. What's not working is um, folding. So we've got to figure out why it's not folding. Maybe I just have to train it. Just one second here. Oh, well, maybe it is folding. Let's see then. Okay. That's too sticky right now. Um, here's my embossing tool. So I'm running my embossing tool over these areas. And I'm going to run it on the back as well. Sorry about this. If you're still there, if you can hear me, Renee, have a good night. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see then. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. There's more than two ways. What I'm going to do is 
I'm just gonna take my, oh, I can zoom out a bit now. Let me, I'm just give me a second. I'm, hi, Kathy. Let me just figure this out. I'm just, <laughs> I'm zooming out a little bit. I don't know which way is zooming out. That's the problem. And it takes, oh, no, that's zooming in. Okay, so this is zooming out. Let me look up here. Oh, let's see here. Yeah, that's better. You're still cooking. Well, that's some dinner. No, <laughs> I'll be over in a few minutes. No, I don't. I live in Texas, so I can't do that. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to um, make. Um, I'm going to score the card at, I don't know, let's see here, at a half an inch. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to score it at a half an inch all the way across, which is a little difficult because I got all this paper on here. Um, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do it like this. <laughs> I got it. I could have flipped it around. Okay. So we're going to go a half an inch, which is right here. Okay. And then we will just hold it. little harder to do um, after the fact, but not impossible. There we go. We'll fold it this way and make sure it's straight. And score it. Make sure you push it down. And then we'll fold it the other way. sure it's straight. Push it down. There we go. Okay. So now we just have to pull our little pop-up mechanism out again. Oh, and <laughs> detach the card. And then there we go. Now we just fold it like this and it just is a little bit thicker, which is fine because I'm sending it um, priority mail anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. So there we go. Okay. So now let's see here. Now I want to attach this to the bottom of this and then I also want to attach this I need to reattach that to there and then I'm gonna put some liquid adhesive right here that is somebody getting water out of the water cooler not somebody going to the bathroom FYI okay so now I'm just going to push this up here. I'm going to hold it steady and make sure that it just fits glued nice and tight. There we go.
little tweezers that have the holding mechanism come in real handy. And of course I can find them. Where are they? There. Okay. I'm going to hold this together. Look at this. Just like that. Hold it together like that. until it gets glued together. Um, and while we're doing that, yeah, that works really well. I gotta get some more powder on there. Let me put some on my fingers. <laughs> that way I can work it at the same time. It got really sticky back there. I'm never too worried about it though. You can just always go backwards. <laughs> what part of California do you live in? I may take you up on that, Kathy. I travel a lot and my in-laws live out um, in California. So one place we really want to get to is we have um, some in-laws who live up. I think it's called Sky Ranch. It's by, um, just, not just, it's quite a ways north of San Francisco. So that's why we haven't been able to get there yet. Um, because it's like a couple of hours away from the airport. So just going to the airport is really difficult. Okay. So now we have our, our terrarium completed and we can decorate it. And... I know it's kind of a bummer that it was, um, it was, I had to create that, uh, what's it called? I guess gusset. <laughs> um, but you know what? It still works. So I had a feeling I might need to do that. But until you really put things together sometimes, it's hard to know. Anyway, let me see here now. Okay. Now we can go crazy. I made a bunch of um, little leaves and I have my flowers from yesterday and I figured I can just go off of, I really like this design and so I'm gonna do this, but bigger. <laughs> sense. Okay, so now we can fold it up like this. And then when my mom gets it, and then it's, as I said, it's going to have another piece that's going to go around like this that will be able to turn over and then it'll um, turn into a, oh, I guess I got to do that anyway. Uh, it'll turn into a, um, what's the word? Uh, I can't think of the word. An easel. <laughs> that was the word. Um, let me just get a piece right now. And we can do that. So I'm taking a piece that's six inches wide. And I want to measure how far... Oh. Not six inches wide. I'm sorry. It's five and three quarters inches wide. And the reason I did that is because I have pre-cut card bases. And um, I wanted to use those. For the white part inside. And so I cut it down to five and three quarters to have a quarter inch um, around the edge. So yeah. So basically, we're going to go back here. We're going to um, score it at, let's see here, so 
this is so this is six inches so then I just do the math here this is six inches then I need a half an inch so I'm gonna score it at six inches which is boy I wish they'd make these numbers darker okay so right there oh <laughs> okay oh sorry about the I'm lifting the paper didn't mean to do that so I'm gonna score it at six inches then I'm gonna score it at six and a half inches And we'll see if that is, I think that's enough, because then it just folds over like so. Yes. Okay. And then, um, I'm very excited about that. Can you tell? Then to adhere this onto this, I'm going to use score tape because it's a nice strong medium to do that with. So I'm going to do this and I did another card that was not the same as this whatsoever it was actually a little skating scene with little people skating on a lake it was to um, for the with the I think it was the October hero arts card kit and um, yeah that was really really fun to do but the, what I mean by the same is it had this similar element of, um, oh, that's no good. <laughs> Let's just put some regular tape here. I got to take the tape down. How funny is that? Oh, man. See what I mean? This stuff is, this stuff is, is good tape. Okay. I'm gonna do that and we're gonna do okay it seems to be holding up um, I have never ever had this happen <laughs> of course now I have it happened when I'm live <laughs> thankfully there's only a few people watching okay so I'm just going to put a few more pieces of tape on the sides here. Okay, then I'm just going to take my card here and I'm going to go edge to edge and line it up and press it down. And so now it closes up in and I'll put a belly band around it and then when she wants to display it she can just um, put it up like this it's like a little easel as I said so and then this part will stay down okay well this part's not done yet so anyway so that's that um, I'm actually going to take a piece of acetate I think on either side of this as well to um, close it up so that um, it holds it together so I'll show you how I do that in a little bit okay let's see here now let's see okay so now we have our little easel card. Let's do this. So now it's an easel pop-up card. Okay, so now we're gonna decorate. And as I said, I'm kind of gonna go along with this, but then I wanna expand out. I'm gonna start with this and then expand out. So I have a bunch of different pieces. Let me put away my scoreboard because I don't need that anymore. Um, and I'm gonna have a blog post. I will write a blog post with directions on how to create this card and all the measurements um, because there's quite a few. And especially now that I have to make the gusset, make it into like a little book. Um, 
let's see here. So we need some flowers is what we need. Let's see here. Let's start by deciding which colors flowers that we want. I've made a whole bunch. We need to start now. My mom really likes pink, so I'm gonna like probably lean towards the pink. Um, I really love the orange, which I find funny because I don't really like orange, but for some reason I really like this orange. Um, okay, so I think to start with, I'll probably. Um, let's see here. I want to, I need, and I can just follow this formula. I need a large one and a small one. So, hmm. Let's see here. Kind of like this one. Okay, so I'm going to start with this one. And I've got to figure out how to get it in there like I had it in with this one. But I think I can. I just need to do this. I need to thread it through, as it were. And then I used the little V in the bottom of the flower there to hold it in. So I'll probably do that. Now, with this one, I was able to attach it to the back. But with this, I can't really attach it to the back. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of glue behind this and attach it there. <laughs> That's funny. I'm dinner in a movie. Or, yeah, dinner in a show. You're right. <laughs> so, I'm going to do this here. Okay, and I'm going to just attach that down. Perfect. Yep. Perfect until I pushed it off. Okay, so we got that. Then we can put... Now because we have the um, back, we can put something back there too. And let's see, I can... kind of nice to be able to, um, I can kind of see what I'm doing and how it looks from afar. Okay, I'm not going to, I'm not going to glue that one down yet. I'm going to just keep playing here. Uh, then I need a small one. Let's see here. Oh, I like the purple one. What do you think of the purple? Now, see, I'm not going to be, I popped this one up, but I'm not going to be able to pop it up because I don't have the, um, I don't, again, I'm not attaching it to the back because it's got the dimension, but that's okay. I'm just going to put some, I'm going to put it on top and I'm just going to put some glue along here. Like this. Okay, let's see then. <laughs> Let me see how that looks. There's a little bit of a delay, so you have to be patient with me. Hmm, I don't know. I think I really, this is beautiful. This one turned out really pretty. How does that one look? Or we could do an all pink one. Ooh, I think it might be the all pink one. Because this one's like pink and purple, and this one's purple. So then I could do this one here. And now, because of the fact that I have 
these here, I can actually pop this one up with some foam tape. So I might do that. I'm just going to hold that there for a second. How are you doing, sweetie? The other thing I could do, I have some, what else do I have here? I've got this little beauty. Let me see here. I might be able to do that. Oh yeah, I like that. That's pretty. Okay. So that's that. And it's funny, but I just don't feel like it takes shape until you start putting the leaves in. But let me see here. So this, I'm just going to put some glue right there and I can attach it to that flower right there. There's the seed tweezers. I feel like a surgeon. Okay. I don't do that. I don't do. Sometimes more is or less is better. That's the saying. Okay. Then I might do. That's better. Okay, so that's attached. I gotta stick. I gotta put it up for a second to see where I'm at. Here. Now, I think what I want to do, I want to do this here. Let's see here. I love these. And I've got that there. Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm like thinking. It's a lot of thinking. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's put some tape, some glue here. So far, so good. I wonder where I'm. It's like I only made one of these, but I know I made more. Let's see here. Are they in here? No. Nope. Maybe I didn't make more. Maybe I just thought I made more. I didn't make two. There's no way I just made two. Let's see here. Those are all the roses. Hmm. I think there's a flower fee. Because I should have more of those. That's a good one. Whew. What I do have that I might be able to use because of the fact that I made it a half an inch deep is I have um, moss. So I might put moss inside and then that's what you would see if you look down into it, you'd see the moss. So that might be cool. Um, okay. So then, I always like things going up the left side for some reason. I don't know why. And then we can start. Let's see. I think that looks pretty. <laughs> so see, if I put the acetate in the back, you won't be able to see it. So that's nice. Okay. Then. Oh, no, no, that's, no, I guess that's all I had. Now we can just add the flower, we can add um, the leaves. Okay. 
apartment things we could add leaves um, all along the back let's see how that looks I love that now because of the way it is, I can really go crazy on the sides here because I have some room to play with it. I'm going to use my tweezers again. These tweezers are coming in really handy for this. Let me turn it around. It's a little hard to get at it. Okay. Oh, whoops, forgot I got it. I've got that other piece back there. Okay. So I'll let that att attach. What do we think about these? Do these match? I think they kind of do. Okay, so then that's all it takes for it to hold, so that's kind of nice. Um, oh, that's right. I was going up the side here. I have some brown that I could do for some contrast, but I don't know if I absolutely need it. Oh, you could make a similar card. I know how you could do it, too. See you tomorrow. Or, well, I guess, I don't know if I'll see you, but enjoy it tomorrow. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I'm just sitting here making my Mother's Day card. Um, for anyone who's watching, just joining us. Let's see here. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. Let's see. Hmm. Kind of like that. Oh, that's a good so I'm going to put that piece like that, and then I'll put the other piece underneath it on the bottom part, and that'll make a good add to the dimension. Nobody's watching. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I'm here by myself. Hopefully if you're watching this um, later, you're enjoying me making my Mother's Day card for my mom. And I hope you've had a 
good Mother's Day and it's inspired you if you need some help figuring out what to make. I always have a bit of a challenge. Um, you know how it is. A cobbler of shoes, right? Anyway, let's see here. I've got a Just trying to decorate it up here, bring it to life as it were. No, I don't know if I want to do another one of those over there. Okay, and I want to put, I'm going to get one of these dark ones, these ones. I'm trying to create dimension with it is what I'm working on here. I want it, um, I want it to really pop off the page as it were, which it will <laughs> anyway, but um, yeah, just so that it has some dimension and it's, it's got, uh, now see, since I have the, I'm going to have to put more leaves down there so that you don't see them necessarily because there's no stems to go with the leaves. <laughs> Actually, I could put a flower back there. That's what I'll probably do. Um, that's a good idea. I'll put a flower back there. Should I do the orange one? That's a pop of color. If I ever saw a pop of color. And then I got, let's see where I've got this one. That one's pretty. Maybe I'll do that one. But I'm going to pop it up with some foam squares. That adds a third dimension. So we've got the back, the front, and the middle now. Um, so that's kind of fun. Let's see here. What else? Let's see here. Maybe we can put more here. Oh, let's put a white one. Okay. Oh, now it's standing up real nice and sturdy. That's good. You know what I might do is I might do that. That might be good. Then it doesn't wobble around so much. Oh, it's starfy. Okay. So then I want to put, I'm going to put some more leaves at the top here. Um. Oh, now I've got all the blurry, blurry. I don't think I need that. I'm gonna say I think that I would like I don't know. Let me see here.
actually, you know what I could do is a little sprinkle. Hmm. I'm gonna think about what I want to do here. I've got a nice view from the sides. I don't like how you look down into it and you can see kind of the little mechanism. That bothers me. Because <laughs> that's how it goes. I'm going to see about putting some leaves just kind of all over the floor. Oh. Okay, so then I wanted to put Happy Mother's Day on it. I wanted to make it a little bit dimensional. So I have two layers here already glued together. And I used um, Stick It Adhesive on the back of the words when I was die cutting them because they're so skinny. Um, so I'm going to add this third layer. Okay, which is a little hard to get a hold of, but what I do is I'm going to just pull off a little bit of it. I'm going to pull off one word, and then I'm just going to work on that one word. Since it's so skinny, it's just easier to do this. And what's nice about the stick it adhesive is you can put it down, just press it down very gently, and it won't adhere completely until you've, um, so now I know it's lined up and I can kind of push it into place and now it's stuck. And then I'll go to the next word, happy. Oh, so my T gets stuck. Huh. Okay, mother. Okay, so we got the word mother with a crooked T. <laughs> and we'll line that up. And I'll just kind of go letter by letter because it is kind of important for this look that it's all lined up perfectly. And so, like so. Okay. It's a little off, but that, nothing that'll really be a problem. And what you'll notice then okay so now we have our sentiment and believe it or not it's a little off but that's okay so I'm gonna take a minute and take the adhesive off the back This I'll take the whole thing off because I'm just going to stick it down. I'll stick it down. And stick it down. There. Okay. And I'm going to center it up as best I can. What's nice is it's cut with this thing. So we're going to. Press it down when you're ready. Hmm. Let's line it up here. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to line it up here and line it up with one of these lines. Oh, no. I have to go to the side. Okay, so we're going to line it up with that line, line with that line. Okay, so we have our Happy Mother's Day on there. That's cool. 
And then, and then, last but not least for that, look at what I, I have the apostrophe. But I wanted to <laughs> keep it safe. And so I, I stuck it in the thing of, in the little, in the jewelry picker lid. It's so small. I don't know if we're going to be able to put this on, but we're going to try. I've got to get the adhesive backer off first. Hard to get the maybe we'll just put some glue on it, <laughs> but then it'll come off. That's the only problem. Uh, here we go. Should we take it off of this? Okay. There we go. Got it off. Okay, so now we're just going to put it down. Hopefully, it'll fall down adhesive side down. And then we're just gently going to pick it up. Oh, we got to make sure it's not stuck on me. Oh, come on. We got to move it over. Nope. It's going to be harder than it looks. Yay. Get it into position. This is what you call extremely, um, extreme work for your craft. <laughs> oh, this didn't stick. Okay, now, oh, it looks like the adhesive side was. <laughs> Now it looks like two little apostrophes, but you know what? I'm not even going to worry. It's homemade, not Hallmark. There we go. Anyway. So there um, we have our terrarium card. It folds up. Our terrarium card. It folds up. I haven't created the belly band yet. I'll show you a photo of that after I've created it. Um, it's getting late here and uh, I have to get going. But um, yeah, I'll finish it up tomorrow, um, probably in the morning. I'll try and get online to finish it up and uh, I'll see you then. Bye.